In travel news, for June 5th, 2024, we discuss Juno limiting Alaskan cruise ship berths starting this year to manage over tourism and balance community impact. But before we begin, I'm Brandon with the Adopt Traveler, an award-winning travel agency that makes travel so easy. Even a blind traveler like myself can do it. And now, today in travel. Juneau, Alaska has recently reached an agreement with major cruise lines to impose a cap on daily cruise ship berths. This move is designed to address the growing concerns of over-tourism and its impact on the local community and environment. The cap, effective starting this year, limits the number of cruise ship berths to five per day. The agreement between Juno and the cruise lines comes after years of rising tourism numbers, which have led to concerns about the sustainability of such growth. By limiting the number of ships that can dock each day, Juno aims to reduce congestion and provide a better experience for both residents and visitors. While tourism is a significant part of Juno's economy, there is a need to balance economic benefits with environmental and social impacts. The new cap is seen as a step towards achieving this balance. It will help manage the flow of tourists, reduce pressure on local infrastructure, and protect the natural beauty of the area. Cruise lines will need to adjust their schedules to comply with the new regulations. This may involve altering itineraries or reducing the frequency of stops in Juneau. The cap also encourages cruise lines to spread out their visits across different ports, potentially benefiting other destinations in the region. The local community has largely welcomed the cap, seeing it as a necessary measure to maintain their quality of life. Local businesses, while reliant on tourist spending, also recognize the need for sustainable tourism practices. The cap is expected to ease the strain on resources and infrastructure, providing a more manageable influx of visitors. This new regulation sets a precedent for other tourist-heavy destinations facing similar challenges. It demonstrates a proactive approach to tourism management, prioritizing long-term sustainability over short-term gains. As the cap takes effect, its impact on both the local economy and the environment will be closely monitored. Juno's decision to cap daily cruise ship berths marks a significant step towards sustainable tourism. By limiting the number of ships, the city aims to balance economic benefits with the well-being of its residents and the preservation of its natural environment. This move could serve as a model for other destinations looking to address over-tourism and its associated challenges. Juno's initiative highlights the importance of sustainable tourism practices in ensuring the longevity of popular travel destinations. Balancing tourism with local needs is crucial for maintaining the unique charm and ecological health of places like Juno. As this regulation takes effect, its success will be an important case study for the global tourism industry. Today in Travel is brought to you by The Adept Traveler an award-winning travel agency that specializes in making travel easier for everyone. From the novice to the expert, from the able-bodied to the disabled traveler, it's our belief that everybody deserves to travel well. Until next time, travel well, my friends.